Hi, my name is Brad Griffith. I'm a maker and I'm an inventor. Our business is impact, product development, and marketing. Our primary focus is building STEAM for the STEM fields. And I'd just like to show you in a minute, after we get some business out of the way, just exactly what we're doing. Four years ago, my son and I came up with the ability and the techniques to bend, mold, shape, craft wood. Popsicle sticks, stir sticks, tongue depressors, yard sticks, you name it, craft wood can be bent, shaped, and molded. And why this is important for a maker and for the maker community out there is because now things could be made from wood a lot easier than they have been at this point by just simply knowing the right skills, tips, and tricks. This truck here was made uh, without power tools and this is all craft sticks or craft wood. These are coffee stir sticks, these are tongue depressors. The craft aisle has lots of little different doodads and things and wooden wheels as well to add uh, embellishments like right here there's uh, those are flat tags um, that you would find in the craft store. These are popsicle sticks. Um, I'll show you some more technology about this but this is uh, these are this is veneer wrapped around a toothpick to create the hinges for the door. So why this is important once again it will allow uh, makers, inventors, crafters, uh, people who make prototype and all sorts of uh, high school, college, elementary, grade schools kids can work with wood now like never before. And I'm going to show you some advanced things that have happened just this last week. And then uh, we're going to get to a show and tell beside me. So, last week we discovered how to bend veneer around a dowel, a square dowel, so we can make hollow square dowels. So now we wrapped, uh, once we got this one wrapped, we're then able to wrap this one. Now we've got movement, so we use square, oblong, that one's a little tight. Um, the smallest square is about one-eighth of an inch. So now when you're talking about uh, makers, crafters, and inventors, now when I'm able to show you how to do this, which is primary, our primary focus is on teaching uh, STEM and STEAM skills for makers and inventors. Here is, uh, this is a little larger than a half inch, let's say five eighths by a quarter. And then this is a corner. So do we know all that there is to know about bending wood? I'm probably the one that knows the most about bending craft wood. We've got several websites that are solely for this purpose. It's a nice shot of the inside of a tree. Which reminds me that this is about science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Much of what we doing, are doing is about art. It is about science and technology. So here's an example of a box we made. And uh, we, since we're the inventors of this, my son and I, um, we come up with all sorts of new terms. This is called uh, skinning and ribbing. These are the ribs. And the veneer is the skin. So that's just the handle and some more round dowels with holes, obviously round, that we've made. And this one here is veneer and it's got denim jean material sandwiched in the veneer 
to help support the, uh, the veneer strength. Here's a popsicle stick. I call this a Sharpie pen bend. Sharpie pen bend. So here's another box that we're in the process of making. This is a denim jean material and sandwiched between layers of veneer and shaped around a, a shape. This could be a box uh, starting of a kaleidoscope, telescope. Typical woodworking when I was learning is about uh, cutting, carving, chopping, and sanding and drilling. And that would be, let's say you would say that's uh, subtractive manufacturing where the outcome is going to be uh, you know you're going to throw away a lot of material what we do is I would say it would be additive manufacturing where we are adding parts together to add and build the project so the cutting and chopping from the big boy toys and shop tools and such aren't needed for our new craft and uh, up here we have in a it's only three car, but we have an eight car freight train. And it fits on a Pinewood Derby track so that you can take it down the track and race it. And the kids have a lot of fun watching the train go down the track. And I'm going to show you this in a minute. So we do quite a bit with uh, tree houses, robots. We do a lot with uh, bridges. We do a lot with boats. This is an example, if I can reach, of a box we made. This is exterior ribbing and skinning and just lots of parts that we've made. So a bunch of new things happening. We do a lot with flashlight holders. And this is why I'd really love to show the White House and the world what we're doing because you can create all this from your dining room table which is mostly where I do my stuff. Uh, this particular piece here is basswood and uh, we have learned how that we can bend it specifically and tell it where to bend. So that's uh, pretty basic easy stuff. Uh, what we're set up for here on this table for the most part is uh, producing our videos on teaching the how to build the truck so other people can build it. Our tailgate. Once again, that's a piano hinge made from veneer wrapped around a toothpick. Oh, and we have an extendable tailgate or hitch that we're working on. So the other thing we do, we do um, make miniature rebar and the advantage of doing miniature rebar is that we can make it into our bridges like back here. There's a bridge here, I don't know if you can see right there. And then what I have in my hand is the truss for another bridge. And a little plug for make. This part right here, which I've just had an accident on the freeway with my truck. There we go, sorry. Uh, this is our miniature rebar built into one of our miniature engineering bridges that we've made. So there's a lot going on. I would love to show the White House Maker Fair what it is that we're doing. Here is some more denim and veneer. We do a lot with uh, remote control cars and we tear them apart and build other things with them. So this little contraption right here is a Pinewood Derby car with a camera on it. That's always been a big hit going down the track. And then uh, we have a complete alphabet uppers and lower case made from popsicle sticks 
and that will someday become a new font for people to use and enjoy on the internet. I just have to figure that out. So this contraption right here is a construction tower crane. This is the rear end from a remote control car that controls the elevator. And this is the remote control part itself. So the elevator does go up and down. Sometimes the elevator gets stuck, so you gotta press the panic button, especially when you're on national TV. And then the train does work. So I'd love a chance to show the White House and other people around the world what exactly we're doing, what we're inventing, why it's important. I believe that I can make a wonderful craft. It's about crafting, engineering, art, science. It's all about STEM and STEAM. So if you want to find more information, you can follow the links below and or you can see some of our websites and information here. And if you want to go underground, so to speak, I'm also a video photographer of Nightcrawler Video Science. So you can just Google that and see from our website what it is or our YouTube channel what it is that we're doing with that. So I sure would appreciate an opportunity for me to share what it is that we're doing to other makers and other people around the globe so that we can be sure that they too get the maker fever. Thanks. Bye.